Hey guys, it's Katherine Westbrooks and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, we are shooting this from my backyard because my dog wanted to go outside right as I was gonna shoot this and she cannot be outside for more than 15 minutes. And so here we are in my backyard. I had originally shot this video all in one take and it ended up being super long. So I decided to break up this Canva tutorial series into three different parts. This is part one, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make eye-catching class thumbnails for your out-school classes. In my opinion, your biggest marketing tool is your class thumbnail, and while I can't guarantee that you're going to get bookings if you have a good thumbnail, it is certainly going to increase your chances of getting learners for your classes. So we're going to hop onto my computer and I'm going to show you how to create eye-catching class thumbnails as well as show you um, how you can take some examples that are more dull and spice them up and make them more exciting and marketable for your classes. All right, guys, I first just wanted to show you um, these guidelines that OutSchool had released on class thumbnails um, in your class listing. And um, I'm going to focus on one area right here where it says um, that you can search Google for images that are labeled for reuse. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of um, some class examples from that. So say you were teaching a class on frogs or geography. Um, so these are two really general um, class examples, but I'm just going through this process with you guys and you can apply the same process to any subject or any um, topic that you want to teach on. But um, I'm going to show you frogs first um, as an example. So um, on OutSchool, it does say that you want to search that, they're, um, that the images are labeled for reuse. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm gonna start with frogs, okay? So say that you're teaching a class on frogs. Okay, so um, I went and I searched frogs, I went over to images, and now I'm gonna go over to tools. I'm gonna to go under to usage rights, and I'm going to click um, that it's labeled for reuse with modification. Um, if you're not gonna modify the image, then you could just do um, that it's labeled for reuse, but I am gonna modify um, and add things to the image that I'm gonna do labeled for reuse with modification. So from these images, um, I did select this example right here to use. And so I'm gonna hop over to Canva and you can see what I did with this image. Okay, so whenever you get to Canva, um, you want to um, go to search designs and you want to search for YouTube um, thumbnail. This is the thumbnail size that I use for all of my class listings. Okay, so this is the frog image that I found on Google and all I did was I just saved the image to my computer, um, which I can show you how to do that. Um, you just right click and then you do save image as and then you can save it to your desktop. So all I did was I saved it to my desktop and I uploaded it to Canva and then here it is. So if you wanted to use this as a class thumbnail, you definitely could. There's nothing wrong with this class thumbnail. Um, it's just not as exciting as I think it could be. So I wanted to show you what you could do to this image to make it a better class thumbnail in my opinion. So here's an example of what I did. So I just took that same image um, I just made it a little bit smaller and I added some cute little graphics here on Canva and I changed the background color. And this I feel like is a much better class thumbnail, a lot more eye-catching than this one. Now I am showing you these class thumbnail examples already finished for the sake of time, but I do want to show you a couple things that I feel like are really helpful whenever you're creating thumbnails for out school. Um, if you want to get more in depth with Canva, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube, but I'm going to show you what I think would be helpful to know for your out school class thumbnails. So again, we are on the YouTube thumbnail template, and right now I'm just gonna go to um, add a new page. Okay, so here you can um, go up to the background color and you can change it to any color that you can think of. There's even like a color wheel where you can um, do different shades of this kind of blue. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how I got the frogs. So I'm gonna go over here to elements. Okay, and I'm going to search frog. Okay, and then here's the frog that I used. Um, so you just click and then it automatically pops up onto the screen and then you can um, resize them, make them bigger or smaller. You can also press command D, which is to duplicate it and that will automatically duplicate it. Um, the lines will tell you whenever they're centered and whenever they're even on either side. You can add images and then I go up here to uploads and there's the frog image that I uploaded. You can resize the image um, however you want. So next I search lily pads and I'm going to come over here and select the one that I want. Um, pretty much if you search anything under elements, um, something is going to come up. So if you were doing a class on, um, I don't know, math, then math things will come up. Okay, if you're doing a class on reading, then reading things will come up. So there's tons of different options on Canva. So if you wanted to do a class thumbnail that wasn't just um, a solid color, then if you go over here to background, then it's gonna show you all kinds of different backgrounds that are gonna automatically fill to the size of your template if you click on it. So maybe you wanna do one that's super colorful, 
um, want to do one like this. Okay, so you can just kind of um, play around with these and choose the one that works for your class. But if you didn't just want to use a solid color background, there are lots of options for what you could use instead. And you can also change the direction of these graphics if you click on it and then um, a little arrow will come up and you can um, move it around um, however you want to. If you would like to, then you can also change the color. So whenever you click on one of these graphics and these little colors pop up, that means that you can change the color of it. So say instead of doing pink, um, I wanted to do a lily pad that was maybe purple. So I could go over here and I could change this to purple if I wanted to. So if you see these colors pop up, that means that you can change the color of the graphic. So for the frog, the colors did not pop up. That means that I cannot change the colors of that graphic. So this was a really quick um, overview of how to use Canva. Um, now I'm going to jump back into um, the class thumbnails. Notice how on both of these templates, um, I, I am leaving out some space on the left and the right. Um, and that's because whenever you upload your class thumbnail image to OutSchool, it does tend to cut off the left and the right side of the image. So I would just leave some space on the left and the right side um, for whenever you download it and you upload it to OutSchool, um, that it will probably cut off the edges a little bit. So just leave some room that way it doesn't cut off anything important to your class listing. So my next example that I'm going to show you is um, if you were going to teach a class on geography. Okay, now again, this is really broad because I want you to be able to apply this concept to other topics and areas that you want to teach. So I just searched for geography. Again, I'm going to go to tools, I'm going to go to usage rights, and I'm going to go to labeled for reuse with modification. And I selected this one right here to use for my example. So again, all I did was I just right clicked, I did save image as, and it saves to your desktop. I then uploaded it to Canva and then I clicked on it. Now I noticed whenever I uploaded this, it's a little bit dark. Okay, so I don't really want it to be this dark. So I'm gonna go over here to adjust and I'm going to go to brightness. I'm going to increase the brightness a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, and so if I wanted to use this as my class um, thumbnail image, I could. Um, there's nothing wrong with this class thumbnail image, but um, it's not exciting to me. Um, it doesn't really draw my attention in. And so um, this could get you bookings, I'm not saying that it wouldn't. I just like there's a way to make this um, class thumbnail image a little bit better. And so I took this image and I'm going to show you what to do with that. Okay, so I want to use this image um, right here in this frame. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my image again. Again, it's a little bit dark, so I'm going to go to adjust. I'm going to go to brightness. I'm going to up the brightness a little bit. And I also want to crop the image, okay, because I want it to be um, centered on this really bright part um, versus this dark area over here. So I'm going to crop it. I'm going to press done. And then this is a frame, and I'll show you how to do that. All you do is go to elements, and you go to frames. Um, and then any picture that you put over this frame, it's going to adjust to that size. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. And then now this image is cropped and brightened and it's in this little globe shape, which I feel like is super cute. Now, obviously, if you're teaching older students and you want to adjust to fit your um, age range for your market, but this is for um, more elementary age students. Here's another example that I did with one of my referrals um, for one of her classes on um, the human body. Um, so I didn't use any real images on this class thumbnail. I just used um, all images here found on Canva. You could search pretty much anything under elements and you're gonna find something pop up in the results. Again, if you didn't wanna use real images found on the internet, then you could create a class thumbnail using only elements from Canva, like this example right here. Um, this might be for a you know circle time or a story time or like a morning meeting class that you do. Um, some people wanna add their pictures onto their class thumbnail, so I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Um, all you would do is go to frames. You would make this a little bit smaller, okay, um, here towards the top. So you're going to go over to uploads, scroll down to a picture that you want to use. Um, I'm going to use this image right here. Again, I'm going to crop it because I want it to be centered in the circular frame. I'm just going to crop it where it's a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to drag and drop. And then there is my um, image on my class thumbnail if that's something that you wanted to do. And that's it guys. That's really just a basic um, breakdown of how I do class thumbnails and um, kind of what some examples are of what they should look like um, and how you can take images that would be class thumbnails and how you can kind of tweak them to make them a little bit more exciting and eye-catching for parents. You just want to make sure that your class thumbnail stands out and that as parents are scrolling through classes that they um, see yours and that they want to click more because it is colorful, it is eye-catching, and they want to learn more about your class. All right guys, welcome back. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, if it was and you want to see more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe. I do post out school videos every week and this is just part one of three um, in this series. And so be sure to look out for part two and three coming out very soon.
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.